Okay, this next video is going to be either really disappointing or exciting. I'm just going to show my desk and I'm just going to show that you don't really need a lot of uh, hardware to do app development. Pretty much what I have right here is my uh, backups, external hard drives that I use to keep my backups. I also back up on the internet, but I also like to keep extra drives just in case something happens. I've got my router and my uh, modem over there. And that's the Mac Mini that I use. I use the Mac Mini because uh, it's the best uh, price performance that you can get for buying an Apple product. I bought the, uh, what did I buy? The Core i7, I think the mid-range one, I don't know what the speed is, I forget. And I put 16 gigs of memory just to be, I just wanted to be on the safe side. I bought it separately, I didn't get it from Apple because you can buy it cheaper on Amazon and I didn't get a flash drive for it because uh, I just don't need it. It compiles quickly enough and so that's pretty much why I got the Mac Mini. And uh, I have some monitor speakers that I don't use. They're really good quality. It's just that I prefer to use my, uh, my headphones that are right there. But they work well enough. I've never had any complaints. Uh, they sound pretty good. Good bass. But, again, I just use my headphones. Now I'm going to show, I just use a standard LED monitor. And I've got my poor man's, uh, I guess, uh, monitor arm. <laughs> got the developer network uh, being useful for once. I guess I'll show the keyboard. The keyboard that I have, it's a mechanical keyboard. It's a WASD keyboard. I'll show that there. And I got that because I just got tired of using really crappy keyboards and I program quite a bit. And I just needed something that was really quality. And the WASD keyboards pretty much fit the bill. They're not the most expensive keyboards, but they're not cheap either. Uh, but again, with the price performance, I think they're pretty much the best keyboards you can get for the price. I'm pretty happy with them. The only thing I changed was the... Uh, the keycaps, I just wanted something that was bolder. So I bought those separately from, um, from I think, one of the keyboard, mechanical keyboard uh, forums. I forget where, but um, he delivered as, as expected, and I'm really happy with them. And I'm using Cherry MX Brown switches. Again, it's personal preference. I don't recommend getting one of these keyboards just to... Like if you're a casual typist, that it's not really going to help you. This is more if you're, you know, you're really typing a lot. And, uh, oh, the old uh, Microsoft Intelli mouse. I'm kind of used to using that mouse. So, unfortunately, uh, that's the one I use. It's what I'm used to. I have, I think I have uh, five of them, just in case anything breaks down. And uh, I've got the old... Uh, Microsoft webcam. I don't think that'll work with Apple, but I've got a PC that I work with also, so it usually works with that. And again, my speakers. Oh yeah, this thing. So this was made by an artist uh, at a place that I worked for, and it was, um, I guess it was kind of a stressful place to work at, so I guess he made this so that I could uh, smash my head with it to relieve the tension, which is pretty funny. I kept it as a reminder of... Uh, working at that place. He probably doesn't even remember having done it, but uh, I kept it and I still have it. And I guess this is my second desk. And uh, oh, here I keep my schedule. So I do the uh, divide and conquer approach. So I have a task and I break it up into little, little pieces like what you see right here. And then when anything gets done, I mark it off. That way I can, I just concentrate on one task at a time in the subtasks. And that's what I, I sort of trick my mind into doing really small chunks of work. Because otherwise, the amount of work I have to do is overwhelming. And there's absolutely no way I can, I would be able to do it if, unless I did this. This way I trick my brain and go, oh, it's not that bad. It's only uh, nine tasks and then this is done. Because if I have to look at everything you know, in one go, it just gets too demoralizing. And, uh, you know, this is a mental game. <laughs> so it's probably, it's better for me to just uh, divide everything into little tasks and mark them off. It's just simpler for me uh, to get my work done this way. 
and maybe it'll help you out because uh, I don't know if the other teams do that. I usually I like to do that, just work on one thing at a time and ignore everything else I have to do. So as you can see, there's there's not much to doing a uh, iPhone games. It's pretty much uh, I mean you don't even need these speakers. You don't need the fancy keyboard. It's just something that helps me out. You just need the Mac Mini, uh, old LED monitor, and an iPhone would be good too because you can use the simulator, but it's it's better to test on the iPhone to make sure that everything's working fine. And when the time comes for you to do optimization, um, you're going to need the iPhone. So that's pretty much all you need. And I'll just pan around and look at everything that's one end of the, S the desk. And then there's the keyboard. I mentioned I'm going to get a monitor arm because it'd probably be better for me to get one. And then my second desk with my glass of water and Kleenex. That's I have the Kleenex. I cry when I can't fix some of the bugs that I encounter, so uh, that's why I have that handy. And it looks like today I've uh, I've been crying. <laughs> But anyways, that's pretty much it. So uh, till next time, I'll have another demo of the finished particle system. Bye.